Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I'm back yet again with yet another DC Multiverse video, and today we have an early look, courtesy of my friends over at McFarlane Toys, at their upcoming Target Store exclusive, part of their Jokerized line. This is the Jokerized Dark Knight Returns Batman. Again, Target Store exclusive, gold label, deluxe-ish, and the whole shtick is that it's been Jokerized from the box to the figure to the backside, ha ha ha's and purples and greens and... You get the idea. Here's the barcode for when this starts to hit Target store shelves, hopefully around the middle of June, give or take, right? But in either case, while this may not be my thing, we're going to have a blast looking at them. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is an early look at the brand new McFarlane Toys, the Batman Dark Knight Returns Jokerized figure. Let's check them out. <laughs> And while I got all you Jared Leto enthusiasts here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my DC Multiverse videos. Now, if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. Like a Jokerized purple Batman riding a horse. Come on, what's better than that? Now, here's everything taken out of the packaging. And they have... Uh, quote unquote deluxified it a little bit right 25 bucks will get you the figure accessories you get a stand trading cards the whole nine yards so this is part of their jokerized line of batman figures that are seeing exclusivity at various retailers online and all that jazz now you do get some playing cards those have been jokerized those are cool, kind of harkening back to the whole Christopher Nolan Joker a little bit, right? They did that way back when. You got ha-ha-has and they put little faces. Let me know if you can read whatever the heck this is. Gothic Knights, I guess? Something like that? You do get a trading card, as usual, for all the DC Multiverse figures. You got ha-ha-has and they gave Batman a little smile. And you can read up on this if you'd like. One of the things I actually do like, though, is the trading card stand that this comes with. It's interesting, and I think that if you have a Joker figure and you wanted to put an old-school Joker trading card in there next to said figure, it's not too shabby at all. Now, because this is a repaint, you are getting the same exact accessories as before. So this time around, you get purpleized versions of Batman's fists and open hands, along with his batarang and rope. This is one of those things, though, where I feel like they could have changed the accessories a little bit. Uh, here's something different. I get why. Because it's just a repaint. Although they should have jokerized this, though, right? A little bit, at least. You do get a purple and green jokerized Batman stand. Take a drink every time I say jokerized in this video. You'll be dead halfway through. And you get Batman as well. <laughs> and... It's, the laughs are all over the costume, right? It's interesting, to say the least. It's not something I would immediately gravitate towards, nor immediately say, yeah, make that. That'll, that'll get people going. But there are a lot of Joker people out there. They like stuff like this, and this will probably be right up their alley. I mean, what's better than a Jokerized Batman? I like his teeth. You got the red smile, the green eyes. It's creepy looking. At least they painted the heck out of this thing. Seriously, though, opening this up was like opening a neck of toys figure. It was just a poof of acrylic paint, which, hey, I'm not complaining about. But on the bottom side of the cape, I like that they spray painted some green. You got that lime green belt, although I seriously think they should have painted more of the black to match the purple. I think they kind of gave up a little bit. I don't know why, but the whole figure should have just been purple and green, right? That's what I think. But in either case, it's the same exact articulation, same exact everything. You got a little bit more Joker paint. You got the thigh swivel, although you'll have to better match up the ha ha ha's, which is the least of your problems with this figure, right? Again, this is for a very niche audience, but they're definitely out there and it's an exclusive. So it really doesn't matter at the end of the day. Now, I know a lot of people are probably going to say, well, where's the blue and the gray Dark Knight Returns Batman? And yeah, I'm saying the same thing. I would like one as well. But this is a good way to just take an existing figure, slap a bunch of paint on it, and give you a repaint. Stores love that because they like to sell things. And Batman figures sell. McFarlane Toys certainly has been jumping on the whole repaint avenue lately. A lot more than they have prior but at least it's interesting repaints. You got a blue Kyle Rayner, which people love that character. 
Go figure. I didn't know he was that popular. You have the Yellow Lantern Batman, which we will be taking a look at coming up. So there's a lot of repaints. And if you look at a lot of companies out there, they all do repaints as well. It's shocking, right? Toy companies these days. Am I right? But you've heard my thoughts. And now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything DC multiverse. Of all the Batman figures out there, which one would you like to see Jokerize? For me... I, I wouldn't mind a I'll Jokerize White Knight Batman. We'll see how that goes if they were to do that. So I'm going to leave you guys with that as Batman. Drink some great Batman and eat some great Batman. But most importantly, remember Batman when you Batman because Batman is Batman in a Batman. And when you Batman, let me know what you Batman. I'll talk to you guys Batman. Adios.